Hi, uh, my name's Rusty, and I'm just gonna make a little video just to as a tutorial for mainly for my players that um, uh, I, that are first start on Fantasy Grounds. Um, I'm often teaching new players how to how to get started, so I thought I'd um, make a little uh, YouTube video on on how it all works. So first thing, what I'm gonna do is take you through how to download the install the software. Um, and then go into your settings, change the install directory, and um, and then checking for updates. Um, and we'll stop the video there, and I, I'll produce another little one on, on how to um, log in and get your character set up from there. So first of all, what you want to do is go to um, the Fantasy Grounds website. So I'll, that's the, the address for it, but um, if you just go to Fa Google and Google Fantasy Grounds, it'll be the first ones that come up first website fantasy ground so that's what I'm doing now go to there click on fantasy grounds so this is a great website very helpful um, some of the things that you will come back here for is um, the forums tons of stuff on here everything I've learned has been from from the forums you can find other games through here any technical issues there's um, all sorts of stuff here that um, will help you with it. Also, later on, when you're going to start buying content, you can go into the store and search for different things. I might make a little video there on, on how to find what you're looking for there. Um, and this is where you go when you, you know, when you've got all your downloads for instructions. You can log in. Um, you can create a user account there, and once you get, once you um, if you start getting into Fantasy Grounds, I suggest you do get a login, and um, uh, and that's going to help you with store purchases and things like that. But for now, all we just need is the homepage. If you scroll down here, now there's three types of packages you can get now. Um, to get started, if you've got a DM that um, has an ultimate license, you just need the demo pack, and that's free. Um, if your DM has a standard pack then you're also going to need a standard pack as well um, for my players they just need the demo pack because uh, I um, I have the ultimate one if you're planning on being a DM grab the ultimate pack it is well worth it and you can pay a once-off subscription $149 American um, US dollars and you've got that for life so I, I think that's fantastic value so um, you just hit the download for Windows or, or Mac, whichever one you're using, and off you go. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to um, run that. Just download it, choose the directory you want to put it in, and uh, run the install. Right, so once you've done that, you will get presented with this screen. This is like the, the, the launch screen. Um, before you do anything, what we want to do is a go to settings and, and change the install directory so go to settings so it'll go to there you'll get a little yes and you get this little stream now the original directory that it's going to put in kind of is hidden and it's hard to find to navigate to and then later on what you're going to want to you, what you might want to do if you become a dm is um, import images and um, and other files, token files, and 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 profile pics, and all that sort of thing. Now, it's, and it's it's hidden though these uh, the fancy ground folders, so you, you if it's very hard to navigate to them. But if you change these directories now into one that um, of your choice, you'll always be able to easily find them. Um, if you purchase a license, this is where you're going to put your license key in. So change your app directory and your data directory. Your app directory is where the Fantasy Grounds will be installed and your data directory is where you're going to put all your images and things in later on. So um, next thing you want to do is check for updates and you just click this and it, it's going to run through a little some a program now to go through and it will check all your fantasy ground files to see if and fantasy grounds have done an update they do an update every week just about and um, and and whenever if they're fixing file files or bringing out new content they will um, 
they will send them out to and push them out to you via this. So you pretty much should do this every week. And um, if you don't, what will happen is you'll get out of sync with your DM on their package and then it'll start creating errors in the game. You just let that run until it's finished. Um, this is worth showing to you. Um, I have three monitors running when I play Fantasy Grounds. I'm not saying you need three, but as a DM I've got lots going on. So normally um, when you set it up it'll just be on the one screen like that. But if you want to spread your your, um, um, your your app over several screens, you can just right click. Actually what you want to do is you hit that little restore window there. And now now once you've got it in that window things you can adjust the size of that window right, and that's how I'm able to spread that across on multiple screens like that and you can just play with it to you get it exactly how you want so um, normally uh, this is how I have it set up and um, in my next video, what I'm going to do is show you how to log into a server, into a server um, and or load a campaign, or create a new campaign, and um, you can then have a look how the software then looks like from um, the inside. Um, thanks for watching.